we're about to take a first look at two SLA printers. Hey there, my name is David Gortz for ZDNet's DIY IT, and today I'm gonna to look at our first two SLA printers. Now, I've been working with FDM printers for quite a while. That's the kind of printing that lays down layers one on top of the other. These are quite different. These are called SLA or stereolithography. And what they do is they have a vat of goop, a resin, that goes inside the, the covering here, fills this up, and then a plate lifts, and the object that's being printed is lifted on the plate. Now, the reason I'm showing you this this way is that the first time I did this video, which was the box opening, um, the front facing camera did not capture anything except for the two boxes and nothing opening. Now my side camera did, so I'm gonna intersperse little bits of imaging from the side camera as I go through this discussion so you'll be able to see some of the box opening. But this is round two. In any case, what we're looking at is an Elegoo Mars printer and a Zortrax Inkspire printer. They're very similar in size, but this is $350 and this is $2,000. Now in a future video, we're gonna learn what the differences are and, and discover whether or not you can get by with a $350 printer, whether you need a $2,000 printer and so on. But for the moment, I just wanted to show you these types of printers because we haven't looked at them before. So uh, this is substantially lighter physically than this one. It's, it weighs less. Um, it, like the Inkspire, has a glass shell, but this glass shell, this pla or plastic shell, this plastic shell is just about twice the thickness of this one, and that's used to control how the light flows. They both look like they have pretty excellent construction, which is kind of nice, um, but they're different technologies, and, and I will go into in the future the different kinds of technologies that generate this, but both of them generate light or laser and will impact and interact with the resin. Now, here, here's an interesting part of the puzzle, is that the Inkspire came with resin out of the box, so you could theoretically start working with this where the Elegoo, the Mars printer, did not come with any resin. In fact, I have to get back to the folks at Elgu and say, hey guys, I need some resin to be able to test your printer. Um, both of them came with a variety of accessories, power, clippers, memory card, gloves, scraper. Uh, and they came with, this one, the uh, Mars came with a little mixing bucket and some funnel-like things. The, um, the Inkspire actually came with some resin. It came with a funnel. It has a whole starter kit of the same sort of tools that you would get with that. Only has one glove as opposed to a pile of gloves. But, you know, you can get a box of gloves from Harbor Freight or any place else relatively inexpensively. Um, the thing to know about SLA printers is that they are messy. This resin is toxic, so you don't want it on your body. I might wind up wearing actually a lab coat or a, a covering vest because I don't want it on my clothes or my arm or my hands. They tend to leak, so I'm gonna need to build a structure underneath them so that the goop that comes out of them doesn't go onto like the workbench or whatever else I'm working with. You need to use gloves to work with them. As you can see, the build surface is much smaller. This is the entire build surface. So this is smaller than any of the 3D printers, the FDM printers I have, by at least half. Uh, but what they do is they produce much higher resolution image, much higher resolution objects when they come out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a chance to take a look at how much better the resolution is between these two printers and all sorts of other aspects that are involved in SLA. But while I'm waiting for uh, resin for the Elegoo Mars and getting to know these printers and figuring out how to set them up and making sure that I have a safe working environment, I wanted to give you a first look at these two exciting printers. So for ZDNet's DIY IT, I'm David Gewertz. 
go out and build something cool. And make sure your video and sound also work. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.